Welcome everyone to What's Happening in Crypto. Today in the news, what is happening to the crypto markets and an important message to the community. And let's just get into it. Bitcoin is down again, big time. And you may not have noticed this, but the stock markets are also getting savaged. Facebook, Amazon, Google, Nvidia, etc., etc., all down big time with the Dow dropping 400 points. So yeah, it's kind of happening everywhere. Traditional markets are burdened with talks of trade wars, lowering confidence in U.S. markets as lack of political leadership and a burgeoning debt crisis take their toll. OPEC and Russia are both saying that they will cut oil production and uncertainty around Brexit. All of this real world financial drama does not necessarily bode well for crypto in the short term. And over in the crypto world, the continued Bitcoin cash war has done nothing except prove to the wider world that the crypto community is represented by greedy, childish ego clowns and that Bitcoin cash has essentially hurt everyone in the entire crypto community with their antics. I mean, they don't represent me, but a lot of people see that as happening. And this kind of crazy BS happening in the Bitcoin camp, it is no wonder that investors are looking for a nice professional company with no drama like Ripple as a good potential option. We can also look and see the SEC crackdowns and the failed promises of ICOs, which are taking their toll. The unaccountability of ICOs has been a real disservice to the crypto economy. Are we having fun yet? I wish I had all of the answers for you, but I don't. No one does. And in spite of all the optimistic news about cryptocurrencies, we continue to see downward price pressure. And while the current price does not erase the need for a decentralized and secure medium of exchange, the markets are seriously reevaluating how Bitcoin is valued. Where is the bottom? Some are calling for 4,800, some 4,000, some 3,000, some 1,500. Who is right? Truth is no one knows. I don't know, wish I did. But what I do know is that a lot of people have lost a lot of money. It is easy to get angry, to get depressed. I have seen a lot of people attacking and blaming others on social media. This is not what will move us forward as a community. In spite of the old mantra, don't put in more than you can afford to lose, I know that most of us are balls deep into crypto and are seriously overexposed. I want you to know that if you are still here, then you have my respect for being able to persist in this market during the hard times. You also have my compassion and love. Emotions are raw and people are hurting. We never said Bitcoin was easy, but many may not have expected it to be this hard. Furthermore, it is extremely important to take care of your mental health. Get away from the computer screen if you are feeling a state of panic or extreme anxiety. Go for a walk, get in nature, talk to a friend, do sport, eat well, try to sleep. And of course, avoid drugs and alcohol. They never help. Remember, no matter how much you have lost, there is never a need for a permanent solution to a temporary circumstance. Hurting yourself is never the answer. The world is full of people and their stories who have lost everything and not just lost everything, but been hundreds of millions of dollars in debt and through their mental fortitude were able to not just get out of debt, but to thrive. So much depends on your state of mind. I believe in you. You will not only get through this, but come out on the other side, a better and stronger investor. They will tell tales of the 2018 bear and in the years to come, you'll be able to gather new guys around the campfire and tell them stories of the fear and tribulation that tested your honey badger like fortitude. The reality is that no matter how low we go, crypto is going to be minting thousands of new millionaires in the next few years. And some of those new millionaires will be building their foundations of their fortune right now. 
Yes, Bitcoin has fallen big time, but the market will recover. It always does. The question is, will you be one of the people still around to pick up the pieces? Remember, the entire banking industry is essentially a giant fraud. The fiat money issued by central banks is also a massive fraud, but they are rich and powerful. No one said that making a better monetary system would be easy or that the fraudulent legacy financial world would go down without a fight. In crypto, we are only one catalyst away from a bull run at any moment, really. Question is, when catalyst? When bull run? But more than a bull one, what we really, really need is adoption. We need users, we need killer dApps, we need projects to build real, legit, awesome tech. There are so many post-ICO companies building cool technology in spite of other ICOs cashing out and running for the hills. These projects have only given the legitimate ICOs a bad name. There are real users who really, really need Bitcoin every day, and they are transacting in it every day. Real infrastructure is being built. None of this has gone away. I'm still here. The serious companies are still here. And you are still here. Be strong out there, everyone. We are going to get through this market together. Thank you so much for watching the video. Just remember, before all else, you're awesome. I love you and life is amazing. And if you can, thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell down below to stay up to date with what is happening in crypto. Come and join the conversation over on Twitter. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.